good afternoon my YouTube family I hope everybody's having a beautiful Monday um, uh, and I hope you're enjoying your day well today is interesting I don't watch television uh, you know I I'm on YouTube of course uh, and I I just enjoy I read my Bible but I like to keep up to date with what's going around in our world, our world happenings. So I, as I'm looking and scrolling through the news, I come upon that last night, 12 hours ago, was the 71st Emmy Awards. So I clicked on it. And my discernment right away, first of all, just looking at it, and these people posing in these outfits, my first, a, a smell of sulfur had come over me. Now I'm allergic to sulfur, and you, and and if any of you don't know, sulfur is what burns in hell. It's evil. Okay, so then as I started to watch all these people, women and men, which I didn't know who's women, who's a woman and who's a man, to be quite honest with you, uh, all posing like wax figures and, you know, when you step out of the world and you're not in it anymore, you're, 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 you're not, you know, you don't love it, you just reside in it and you're one with body of Christ, you see things differently. So anyway, I was watching, you know, these women and men posing in all their outfits so proudly and everything. And um, I noticed a lot of their tattoos. Um, they had alchemy, Satanism tattoos, the evil eye, the black sun. And um, many of them had 666. And so, you know, I wanted to research more. So the Lord took me to this interesting article about gambling. And in the Bible, it states that gambling is bad. We're not supposed to do that. And I said, well, Lord, what is 666? Because I, I, I'm not, I've never been a gambler. You know, what are you t telling me? And he brings me to the, the Monte Carlo version of the Russian roulette table was invented by Francois Blanc, who was a brilliant mathematical person. And he invented the Monte Carlo Russian roulette, the, the Monte Carlo roulette table, which adds up to 666. And the old gambler story that they say is, you know, fake or just a, you know, a story that they all laugh about is that he sold his soul to the devil and he did win over and over and over and over. And his name is Francois Blanc. Interestingly enough, it, as my research continued, I happened to, my discernment said, you know, children have been killing themselves way back, years and years, with the game Russian Roulette. And I, I always remember that being as, you know, as a, as a child hearing about that. And I thought, used to think to myself, what, what kind of moron would, <laughs> what kind of game is that? I mean, you know, you're sitting there and you're taking a gun to your head and, it, and you, you, you click it. And if the bullet doesn't come out, you hand it to the next person and then they do it. And, and then you're going to sit there and watch your friend's head get blown off. But now... I see that it's from Satan because they call it Russian roulette. And the, 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 the game roulette is 666 of Satan. So then I'm, you know, continuing looking at a few things, you know, here and there about the Emmys. 
And as soon as you put in the 71st, 71, what pops up on Google is 666 number of the beast. That's all I could say about that, but that it, it, I did it 10 times and that's what happened. Okay, but the most striking thing to me was the Central Park Five that were there and they all had their hands in the ominous downward prayer position, which is Lucifer's hand language. And they were all standing there like proud as proud could be with their hands in this ominous downward prayer position. And I thought to myself, why would they be at the Emmys? And as I continued to look, you know, and then they, you know, made a big deal about them. They had them, some lady come up to the stage and said, welcome to the Central Park Five that have been exonerated. Uh, uh, and they got a standing ovation and they went up there and said ridiculous things. And my discernment said to me, these, these were exonerated again they made a deal with Satan which brought me back again to Kim Kardashian getting her license to be an attorney to get people out of prison and I believe it's a way to get souls because the way they climb if let, let's say you know the devil gives nothing away for free he's a liar so you have to continue and continue. He's at you all the time for more, 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 more. But he, his favorite is, you know, you rise high when you give a uh, blood sacrifice. So I think, you know, but, but he does want souls. So this is a way for Kim to get, to give back to her father, Satan, and get souls. Um, because that's her main goal is all of a sudden out of the blue she's decided in between buying her uh, Birkin bags and getting plastic surgery to become an attorney uh, in a faster way and uh, exonerate prisoners and get them out of prison I don't know you know a, a, if they're guilty or not, not for me to judge, only for God to judge, but it just seems awful ironic. So digging more with my discernment, I looked into this case and the woman that was um, uh, brutally raped and beaten by these five uh, teenagers, well, first of all, let's back up. She always jogged in Central Park. She loved it. It was her dream to move to Manhattan. She had a great job and she would get off work at 8 p.m. and jog in, in Central Park. Unknowingly, the police were over dispatch saying that there was about 30 Hispanic and African American teenage boys beating up people, harassing them, robbing them, etc. But she had no idea. She just was, you know, doing her normal ritual at night to go jog. Anyway, they got her, they beat her to a pulp and threw her in a ditch. But she does remember that it was more than one person that raped her. That one thing she remembers. Now one of the five stated at the time that he, you know, he had a scratch on his eye and he said, yeah, she was getting out of control and she scratched my eye and I moved out of the way. And the police wrote this all down and everything, and they did get convicted. However, in 2001, a man named Matthias Reyes convicted, confessed, he was a convicted uh, serial killer, he confessed that he did those uh, crimes that the five were convicted at. at. And ironically, they were all together serving in Rikers Island prison. So they ex exonerated the five, okay? They got out 
And when they got out, in 2014, they sued the city of New York and got $41 million. And then again, they sued and got another $3.9 million. The victim, Trisha Mealy, like I said, remembers, she says, I was raped by more than one person, many. And the police department stand by her and the prosecutors. They say it's, it's, a, it's a horrific that they exonerated these teenagers, that they were guilty as guilty could be. So, going back to Matias Reyes that confessed, well, he was already going to be in there for like 30 to life. So, what do you think happened? They all conspired. They made a deal with the devil. So, Matias Reyes is still in there, but he's living really well. Yeah, he is. And these guys get out, and now they're multimillionaires, and... They're being honored on the Emmy Awards? I don't know about that. That just, uh, just makes me go, hmm. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and say that, and uh, I was sickened, sickened, looking at bits and pieces of this Emmy Awards, and I kid you not, the first thing when I watched, I did. I smelt sulfur, and I'm allergic to it. it I, I, I really smelt it. That's what made me delve into, you know, investigating it, and Jesus took me to all these things because I saw their tattoos. There was, you know, they all had uh, the black sun, the evil eye, the, sul the, um, cro the crosses of alchemy, um, 666, which is the triangle numbers, which also 666 comes out to the uh, historian, back in history, there was a uh, Neron, uh, Khazar, who was the most evil ruler that existed, and the and his name in Hebrew Nero Caesar comes out to six six six. So that's what Jesus brought me to today, and I just wanted to come on. This is literally my scramble, if you could see. Um, and that's what he does. I I was you know out, did a few things, said, I have to come on to my YouTube fam and maybe, you know, read a few Bible verses. And he says, no, I want you to bring this up and brought me to all of this. So, uh, yeah, I just, I wouldn't watch those shows and I wouldn't support any of those people. To me, they're all the more when you're, when you're, when you're not of the world anymore and you walk with Christ and you see all these people that, you know, I used to love to watch the shows. I used to love to see their clothes, see who would win my favorite actors. And now I, my, I have a whole different view. I, I see right through them, right through them every one of them they're all there that's their night that satan gives them you know to give for awards and the ones that lose are punished because all year they didn't do what they were supposed to do or enough so anyway i leave you with that my family i love you all god bless america let's pray for our children this world is spiraling downward hollywood is the worst worst place of all california is the most evil state if you live there get out they have their own rules and regulations and nobody can tell them what to do i and and all the other states probably aren't far behind so we have to cling on to jesus christ pray stay in the word stay in the word of jesus christ open up your bibles I understand for some people it's difficult, but now there's audio Bibles. But once, if you, if you ask Jesus, give me the knowledge and understanding to read your word, he will. And a whole new world will open up to you. You will see everything in a different way. And you'll gain strength 
and you'll be able to face this world with the armor on and you'll get through anything. Sure, you'll suffer. Sure, it's tough, but you get through it and you understand it. And that's why I call it a board game. And it makes me, it gives me drive because I'm getting through it and I love it. And I love being a warrior for Jesus Christ. I love my YouTube family. Thank you for the beautiful messages. Thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome to this channel, which is Jesus's and then we the people. It's all about truth and love. Stay away from those evil channels, the occultists, the cooks that want money. Don't do it. 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 Hallelujah. I love you. Amen. This little Italian girl will be back. Ciao.